Hi, I'm Chris Hawkins, and today we're going to talk about creating a UCS user coordinate system in Trimble RealWorks. So, in RealWorks, we've opened up our uh, Building Point Florida headquarters, and uh, we're looking at how it came in directly from the uh, scan files. And so we can see that it's actually uh, tilted at uh, what, about a 30 or 60 degree angle, rather. And um, if, uh, if we work with this in this regard and uh, bring this into uh, you know, a, a modeling authoring software such as Revit, um, it's really not going to you know, be that productive to continually work at this kind of an angle. Actually, if, uh, if we selected this and um, went ahead and said home, export selection, push this out to an E57 or a recap file, and then uh, bring this into Revit, I'll toggle over to Revit real quick and we'll bring this in. Uh, insert point cloud. And we'll grab this. This is our, our home coordinate system. You'll see that, hey, what happened? Noth nothing's actually in Revit. Um, I'll open up a 3D view um, <coughs> and uh, see, oh, actually, no, something actually is in Revit. Um, why didn't it show up in my plan? Uh, let me check a look at my elevation real quick and uh, south elevation. Uh, it's nothing's in there. Where, where you can basically see that you have issues trying to actually locate where this is because we haven't truly defined a coordinate system inside uh, inside the point cloud to correspond with the coordinate system that we have inside of Revit. So. Um, we know it's in Revit, we're having a hard time figuring out how to adjust it in Revit, um, and even when we make updates in the cloud, we'll have to go through this adjustment in Revit again. So let's go ahead and get everything organized in the first place within RealWorks. So let's toggle back over to RealWorks. And uh, again, we select our, uh, our uh, project, and under Edit, we'll select the UCS tool, UCS Creation. The very first thing we can do here is actually select the origin that we want to uh, define. So in this regard, I'm just going to zoom in here. We're actually on the top. Let me give you a little context here. We're on the top of our project, our first floor. Um, but I can still see the walls where I want to uh, place this uh, UCS um, within this top view. I want to place it right here on this corner of this wall. So <clears throat> we're able to access that. I can just simply click Pick Origin, click that guy, and then that gives me an XY in relationship to my screen. Well, I need to rotate this in relationship to the uh, data in the point cloud. So let's back out of here for a second. And well, you know what? I was going to use a limit box, but let me go ahead and just utilize tools that are purely inside the UCS tool. So first thing I want to do is I want to lock my Z just for any kind of uh, uh, moving around I'm doing in here. I just want to make sure my Z always stays, uh, maintains, uh, you know, truly vertical as it is at this point in time. And I'm going to define my uh, X axis by creating a plane and fitting that plane to the X axis. So if I click my uh, fit to plane, it throws me into a fitting mode. And I'm actually going to use this long wall. I could use this short wall right here, but I want to use as long of a wall as I can to really allow that deviation all the way down that vector to help truly fine tune what this x-axis is. So I'm going to click in one void of the wall, come all the way down, click in the other void, select the other side of that wall. Well, I should, it's not truly a wall. This is the face of the wall where all of the points are bouncing off the laser and truly defining that surface. Click that guy, and I'm going to type I for N to actually keep those points that I've selected. So now I've, uh, RealWorks has uh, basically pulled out this, these points, uh, defining this plane, and <clears throat> I can uh, now create a plane based off of those points and you can see that my X has now actually been rotated. Um, the rotation, let me actually do my limit box here to let you guys see a little bit more of what I'm, what we're looking at. 
a lot of information going on the screen right now. Um, so what happens is that plane, it actually rotates the X perpendicular to that plane. So as you can see, here's my X that's perpendicular to this long plane that ran, ran down in this direction. So then my next step that I can take is down at the very bottom of my, uh, my build frame uh, of my uh, UCS tool is I have a uh, turnaround access. I can rotate this, my UCS uh, around my Z axis uh, and type in whatever angle I want. I'll just utilize the default 90 and I'll click apply and you'll see that it's now rotated. I can con continue to hit apply and just you know, set that UCS where I, exactly where I want um, and this is exactly where I want it. So I'll click close and we now have our UCS uh, in the XY direction. It, Z is still floating up here uh, halfway up the wall. So my next step is I'm going to adjust my limit box so I can see the floor and I'm gonna jump over to my home tool a uh, menu bar rather, and select my measure tool. And my measure tool has an XYZ point measurement and I can click somewhere on the floor in the vicinity of where I want to set my UCS. And I'll see that that point at this point in time is considered 17.36 feet uh, above uh, the Z value that I want, or actually that 17.36 is the Z value that I want to equate to as zero. So if I jump back up to my uh, actually, let me jump out of my measurement tool and I can come into my origin point here and that's going to be 17.36 uh, space feet. And if I hit tab, that's basically like enter on, uh, on uh, you know, tabbing between dialogues, between uh, inputs is essentially the same as an enter to activate that input. And you see that my UCS has now been shifted all the way down to the floor on that XY point um, that I originally selected. So if I close my limit box and uh, let me finalize my UCS here. So I'm gonna set, I'm gonna create it and at, while I create it, I'm gonna set it as the active UCS. So now I can say create or set, create and close. And now I will come back to my, well, you'll see that the coordinate system is listing object 35, which is the UCS that I just created. Um, to be a little more uh, thorough here, I'll rename my object 35, call it UCS. And now when I set this to UCS and I reset my top view, you'll see that the entire plan rotates uh, to a functional kind of working view, orthogonal view of my point cloud. So just to prove what this is truly done is we can come over and export and uh, actually before we export, I need to select my first floor to make sure that that's what's being exported. Export selection, I can uh, say this is gonna be the first floor um, and export that to an E57, click save. I'll make sure that the frame that I'm using is the UCS. So this UCS entry here equates to this UCS entry over here and I'll hit export for for sake of the demo, I won't actually export it now, um, but I have already done so. And let's tag, tab back over to Revit, insert point cloud, select our first floor UCS, origin to origin, open, and here it's popped in. And to furly, further detail that this has been pulled in exactly on the uh, coordinate system on, the, on Revit's uh, uh, project base point, we can change the visibility in our site category to actually display the project base point. Click OK, and you'll see that that's bang on where we set it in the point cloud. So for more tips and tricks, you can check out our YouTube channel, or you can also contact your local building point rep. Thanks for watching.